Hi everyone, welcome back to the top five things we wish all beneficiaries knew about Medicare Advantage Plan series. Today, let's talk about the common idea that all Medicare Advantage plans have small networks. There is frequent and often amusing debate in our Facebook group, Medicare Q&A with Boomer Benefits, about the restrictions of Advantage Plan networks. We see many people asking whether they should go with a Medigap plan because they mistakenly believe that hardly any providers out there accept Medicare Advantage plans. It is true that most Medicare Advantage plans operate within a network of healthcare providers that is local to the area where you live, as opposed to original Medicare and Medigap plans giving you access to providers nationwide. But keep in mind, some insurance companies have offered Medicare Advantage plans in many counties for over a decade, and the networks there are well established and growing. As licensed and certified insurance agents, we see when we go through our annual certifications that the goal of the carriers each year is to expand their reach where their plans are offered and work to have more physicians and facilities participate in their plans as time goes on. They want to offer more options for care in order to retain the members on their plans and continue getting paid by Medicare for each month. That's how they make their profits. Because of this, we see many Advantage plans offer networks with thousands of providers and offer benefits that allow for far more flexibility and freedom to choose than these plans did in the past. With over 50% of Medicare beneficiaries enrolled in Medicare Advantage and the beneficiaries desire to see their preferred doctors and hospitals, the carriers continue to make efforts to expand their networks and get as many providers into them as possible. So let's talk for a minute about the two most popular types of networks within Medicare Advantage, HMOs and PPOs. HMO plans are gaining in popularity and typically offer lower costs and extra perks compared to many PPO plans. With an HMO plan, you usually need to choose a primary care physician and you may need to get a referral from that physician to see a specialist. While HMO plans may offer excellent coverage within the network, you will have limited amount of coverage outside the network unless it is an emergency or an urgent care situation. In many counties, there are large HMO networks with numerous providers and specialists available. These networks are robust and offer many different treatment options and choices. If you live in a more rural county, you may find that there are fewer providers who are both in the network and easily accessible to you. In that situation, we might recommend reviewing a PPO plan or find a plan that offers more of a national network, which we will get into more in just a moment. A PPO plan has a broader network and will generally allow you to see any doctor or specialist, whether they are in or out of the network, as long as that provider is willing to bill the plan. The advantage here is the flexibility to seek care from a larger range of providers. Now you may pay more for those services, but you are not limited to where you receive your care. Many of our clients who travel regularly love having the lower premiums of a Medicare Advantage plan while still having the peace of mind that those out of network benefits can provide them. Now back to national networks for both HMOs and PPOs, some of the larger carriers offer nationwide coverage in the form of what they're calling a national network. With this benefit, you may be able to pay in-network prices even if you go outside your service area, which is typically your county or group of surrounding counties. For example, if you have an HMO and wanted to see a doctor 500 miles away, 10 years ago you would have paid 100% out of your pocket for that. But now, with the gaining popularity of the national networks as a benefit, you may find a plan that will cover this type of benefit or visit. This means that if you have an HMO plan in the county where you live and your insurance carrier offers an HMO in another county 500 miles away, if the doctor you want to see participates in the other plan and the national network, you can sometimes go to that physician and pay in network prices even when you are outside of your home service area. So this is helpful if you are traveling for a few weeks 
and you may need to see a doctor for care during that trip. It is also helpful if you live in a rural area and you have a more limited selection of doctors and you hope to get your care from a specialist in a major metropolitan area. You might hear that your network is not guaranteed all year and while that is true, it is not all that common for your doctor to leave the network mid-year. And even if your doctor does decide to do so, he or she will typically send out a notice to you. When choosing between the two, an HMO will typically offer lower costs while a PPO will have more flexibility and freedom. But no matter which one you choose, know that the networks today are well established and growing. With Medicare Advantage, you must use the plan's providers to get the best pricing, but we find that more often than not, our clients' providers usually participate in at least one Advantage plan, if not more. Each year, it is crucial to do your research, but of course, you don't have to go it alone. The Boomer Benefits Client Service Team can do this for you each fall to ensure that you are enrolled in a plan that will serve you very well. Have you ever had an issue with your Medicare Advantage network or are you more interested in Medicare Advantage after learning about these national networks? Let us know in the comments below.